The matchup for Congressional District 3 is no deja vu. Joe Kent and Marie Glusen Kemperes have faced off before. Yeah, if you're not familiar, District 3 covers southwestern Washington, spanning Lewis, Pacific, and Clark counties, including the area around Vancouver. Now, the local race is one of the most important this election cycle because it could help determine which party holds the U.S. majority in the House. Fox 13 anchor Hannah Kim spoke to both candidates. Former Green Beret Joe Kent lost to business owner Marie Glusenkamp Perez in 2022 with less than a percentage point. Although he lost, he garnered some name recognition for beating his Republican opponent during the primaries, longtime incumbent Jamie Herrera Butler. When I emerged as the Republican nominee, we had a very divided Republican Party. We don't have that this time. I've been endorsed by the county party, uh, all the state level parties. Kent believes the united backing from Republicans this time around will work in his favor come November as he continues to push his concerns, including what he calls out of control spending. Another huge priority for me is getting rid of this crazy inflation that's destroying working families. And the inflation is being driven by out of control spending in Washington, D.C. And we have to live within our means. We've also got to get back to being energy independent. We're very blessed here in America. We have enough oil and natural gas that we can uh, actually produce pretty cheap petroleum, and that's going to actually drive down the cost of the pump. That's going to drive down the price of the grocery store. Glusen Kent Perez says the high cost of goods is a point of contention for her as well. We want to be able to run small businesses on a level playing field with the big guys. And that's, you know, one of the top reasons that I ran for Congress was a commitment to right to repair legislation. When I'm at the doors over and over, you know, the top eight out of 40 issues are always economic issues, whether you are worried about the cost of prescription drugs, whether you're worried about the solvency of Social Security. You know, you can't find a starter home to buy. Meanwhile, both have strong feelings about our region's natural resources. I don't want to pollute somewhere else, import my timber and lumber from Croatia. I want to do it here and keep those dollars local, keep the cultural knowledge, the generational knowledge of what forest stewardship looks like. We need to get the federal government out of our forests, allow people to get back to working in the timber industry so that we're, we're responsible for our own uh, natural resources. And the same thing with the Columbia River and our fishing industry as well. With the race so tight, independent voters will have to be swayed. And so I am the third most independent member uh, in terms of voting history. Um, I'm always going to uh, put our community first and our values. Within her own party, the Democrat has stood out at times for rejecting policies backed by progressive members, including voting against Biden's student loan forgiveness plan and siding with Republicans on a resolution to condemn the Biden administration for their handling of the border. I was really clear that I felt the uh, administration was not exercising their authority to control uh, the, the southern border. And so I voted. In Kent's opinion, Perez's actions on the southern border is still too weak to curb illegal immigration and stop the fentanyl from pouring in. A lot of um, misdirection that she uses to say that she's serious about the border. So look, we need to shut down the border. We need to get our military down there to physically secure the border. I think it's ridiculous that we have our military deployed throughout the entire world, uh, securing the borders of foreign nations while our border is wide open. And in Perez's opinion, Kent is too extreme. He is a Second Amendment extremist. I support the Second Amendment. Joe Kent supports civil war. That's the last thing I want. I fought for our country. I defended our Constitution. I defended this nation with my life. Hannah Kim, Fox 13 News.